Now, in the previous lecture, we understand how you can restrict a user from accessing the home page of the website. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can add logout feature to your website. What I want, when the user click on the logout button, I want to successfully log out the user from the React application. So to add a logout to your website, you have to add a very simple function which is going to delete this application access token. I'm using this access token to authorize the user. What if I delete this access token from this local storage? If I do that, the user will automatically log out from the React application. Let me show you how you can do it. I'm going to open ports folder and inside that I have this header. Inside this header, I have this logout button. As you can see here, in the previous lecture, we added here H4 heading tag to create this logout button. But what I want now is to convert this logout into a button instead of adding this H4 heading tag. So instead of this H4 heading tag, I'm going to create a dedicated component for this logout button. So inside this import, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name this file logout.jsx. And inside this file, I'm going to simply first create react functional component. And inside this logout, inside this div, I'm going to add a link tag so we can redirect the user to the login page. So I'm going to add here at the top here, I'm going to say import link from react router DOM module. And inside this div, I'm going to add that link tag. And here I'm going to first add two property. I want to redirect the user to the home page or you can redirect the user to the login page as well. But what I want when the user click on the logout button, I want to redirect the user to the home page. So home page can authorize the user and again redirect the user to the login page if the user is not authorized. Just out of that, I'm going to say here on click. When you click on this link, I want to call here a callback function. Just out of that, I'm going to specify here class names. I'm going to add bootstrap class name here. I'm going to add now link and text light. Just out of that, inside this link tag, I'm going to simply add logout text and inside the i tag here i'm going to add a simple icon so i'm going to say here class name class fa sign out alt save this file just out of that you need to specify handler function inside this on click event if you want you can create a handler function inside this file as well but instead of creating handler function inside this logout i'm going to pass handler function using properties so i'm going to say here props and using properties i'm going to pass handler function here so I'm going to say here props dot on logout. I'm going to create this on logout handler function inside the header file. So let me save this component back to my header. And inside this header file at the top, I'm going to first add import statement here and add here logout component from the logout file. And just out of that, instead of this H4 heading tag, I can simply add here logout component. So I'm going to say here log out so i'm going to just add this component here just out of that to this component as you know we need to specify property so i'm going to say here on logout is equal to and in the curly braces i'm going to pass the handler function as you can notice inside this logout component i have this on logout handler function i'm going to execute this handler function so i'm going to pass value to this handler function so using this on logout property here i'm going to specify value log out and i'm going to create this handler function inside this header so just out of this header before this return statement here i'm going to create constant log out is equal to and create a simple handler function here just like this and i'm going to just specify this constant variable right here so when i click on the logout button i'm going to execute this logout function when i click on the logout button i want to call a dispatch action as you know, inside my reducer, if I open my container and reducer, here I have the action type logout. When the user dispatches this action, I'm going to return is login false. And then I'm going to return user now. So I'm going to specify the initial value to the store when the user click on the logout button. So what we need to do is we need to call dispatch method inside this logout function. So let me first create that logout action inside my actions file. So I'm going to just back to my actions file and uh, just down here, I'm going to add here a command and say logout action. And to create action, as you know, we simply say export constant logout action is equal to then specify here a function. And then inside this function, I'm going to return another function with dispatch method. 
and using this parameter i can call the dispatch method inside this logout action as you know to this login i use here auth service and using this service i'm going to access this login function let me create a service for this logout action as well so inside the services i'm going to open the auth service and just down here i'm going to create a command and say logout service so here i'm going to simply create a constant variable logout is equal to and then i'm going to pass here a function like this just out of that when the user click on the logout button i want to delete this local storage key so to delete that i'm going to simply specify here local storage dot remove item using remove item i can delete any key from the local storage you just need to specify the key name inside this remove item so in the single quote i'm going to specify this key name so i'm going to copy this key and specify that exact key name here so this function can remove that key from the local storage just for that i'm going to return a simple message so i'm going to say here msg logout successfully now that's upon you you can return anything from this logout function just for that don't forget to add this logout inside this export statement so you can use it in your other files save this file back to your action and here you can access your logout function so i'm going to just see here auth service dot logout and as you know this function is going to return a message so i'm going to store that message inside msg variable just down here i'm going to call dispatch method and inside this dispatch i'm going to specify type of action type is going to be action type dot logout and i'm going to specify here payload is going to be msg if you want to return something with payload you can specify here payload property otherwise you can remove this property and execute just a dispatch method just for that once i execute this dispatch method just down here i'm going to return a promise so i'm going to say here promise dot resolve and inside this i'm going to return msg for a practice you have to add this code inside try and catch block and return the rejected promise from this logout action i'm going to leave it to you to create try and catch block inside this logout action let me save this file back to my header.jsx and at the top here i'm going to simply say import in the curly braces logout action from container action and just inside this logout here i'm going to specify dispatch method so at the top let me first import my dispatch method so here i'm going to specify import in the curly braces i'm going to say use dispatch from react redux so from the react redux module i'm going to import this use dispatch hook and just down here i'm going to say constant dispatch is equal to use dispatch and inside this logout i'm going to simply call this dispatch and inside that i can call my logout action just like this let me save these changes and let me log in and now when i click on this logout button as you can see this will delete this access key from this local storage when i click on the login button and specify the valid credential this will going to create a new access token inside this local storage and store that inside your browser so you can access your home page easily now what if i reload my browser the browser is going to redirect me to the home page because inside my redux store we have is login false whenever you reload your browser redux is going to specify the initial value to the store that is why you need to relog in whenever you reload your page in the next lecture i'm going to show you how we can solve this problem